Warning, while viewing this video, you will travel five minutes into the future. Don't be scared, just hit that like and sub button to avoid a paradox. Enjoy the video. Out of every single Call of Duty game that's been released, with the exception of Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2 Zombies is by far my most favorite. It's not just survival, it's grief and transit, so you get more than just the running around rape training idea of the game, which really was boring the living shit out of anybody who made zombie videos and or decided to watch zombie videos because you could film one round and just put it on a loop and that got quite annoying over the years of watching YouTube and zombie videos. And right now there are three maps to choose from, the bus depot, the town, and farm. Um, town being lots of buildings uh, spread out mystery box in two areas and you can get all the perks. Uh, bus depot, I have yet to play bus depot on survival it seems like it's too compact. The most played by me is definitely grief on farm. The reason I play grief on farm so much is the fact that it's compact. There's only one mystery box, it stays in the same spot, it's close to get to. Most importantly for all those trolls out there it's easy to defend and knock people off the balcony. Um, the thing I like about farm too is the fact that when you do knock them off um, you can block them from getting back up to their gun or you can use EMP grenades to close the box right away which really pisses a lot of people off. I've had a lot of people rage quit when I do block them from getting their guns because if you have a Galil, a hammer, or a ray gun, the three OP guns in Zombies on Farm come up and you see it and you get knocked off, hell you're running back up there to try and grab it or accepting the fact that it is gone and pressing that leave game button and heading back to the lobby and trying to start over again. The only problem I have with this map is this spot right here. Now most of the time I'm the one in it like I am right now letting my own team through but some of the other times when I'm on the receiving end of this troll and I have two CIA or two CDC if I'm the CIA laying down blocking me from getting through I'm getting pretty pissed off and I'm either leaving the game or just sitting there knifing them and leading zombies to them to try and get them out of that spot which usually ends up in me getting killed. Now right here is a prime example of why you don't go into corners. It's pretty hard to trap people in the corners but if you're laying down they can't knife you because knives won't affect you when you're laying down they only affect you when you're crouching or standing so if you get somebody in a corner and you get two people to lay down you can usually trap them there. The most successful one is when you do it on town and you can trap them in lava that really gets people uh, pissed off because there's no way they can get out of it and they slowly go down. The one benefit to the map farm is this middle truck right here that it's a pretty big sized object so it's easy to just run around and rape train. I do realize that it's in between rounds and I'm not really training anybody but what happens is if your three other teammates go down it's fairly easy for you to stay alive because you can just run around the truck. But then this happens, is you go to teabag a zombie and you get trapped in the corner by zombies and 1, 2, 3 rage quit. Pretty fast rage quit, I know, pretty happy, probably a world record, but not something to be proud of. Uh, just hop into another game here. Back on the map farm, realizing that two CDC people are down. Gonna be a total dick and run to the stairs and try and block the rest of the CDC from getting up there because the only way to get up there is these stairs. So. I'm just crouching on the stairs, this guy can't lay down or crouch, so I'm just keep knifing him and he's getting pretty angry at this point because he can't make it through and he can't revive anybody, his teammates are about to go down, it's just downhill from here for these guys. They do manage to get one guy up and I forget that the guy was behind me and he was able to get the other CDC, so kind of a fail on my part and I kind of just give up, like, well, what the hell, not really doing anything here. So after further inspection of that guy being a total boss at the bottom of the stairs and my CAA trying to get through, I get up and go knife this guy off because I enjoy being a dick and zombies, it's what I like to do. And head back to the stairs, try and block this guy from getting his random weapon. Um, the only thing that I was really confused about is how I died right here. That guy was holding a grenade and the guy behind me was holding the grenade and he runs up to me and blows himself and me up. I don't understand how that works, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to leave a like and a sub. Thanks for watching.